Macau y Lai Aumen. Welcome to Macau. Bienvenidos a Macau. In this video, I will give you a room tour of the hotel room and I will show you the most famous hotels in Macau while sharing some history of this place. Are you ready? We are taking a taxi for two hours and a half from Shenzhen and here we are at the border point. Macau, like Hong Kong, is a special administrative region. They separate governing and economic systems from China but still belongs to it. So we passed the control and they stamped my passport. Now we are taking a shuttle bus to the hotel. This service is free and it's so convenient. You can now start seeing signs in Portuguese. This is because it was a Portuguese colony from 1557 until its handover to China in 1999. Macau is located on China's southern coast and it is surrounded by the South China Sea. Arriving. This might look like Vegas, but it's far from it. This place gets a lot more revenue than Vegas. It is one of the wealthiest places in, and the reason is the gambling. Macau is the only place in China where casino gambling is legal. And there are usually a lot of people. This queue is for checking. We are going to stay at the Sheraton Hotel, which is located within the Londoner. And as soon as you arrive, you already feel that you are in London. And finally, we got to the room. This room cost us around 80 euros per night. And I have to say that we booked at the last minute and there were only double beds left. Plus, it was a weekday. On weekends or holidays, the prices can increase double. So we think it's not bad for what we got. What do you think? Would you stay here for this price? Okay, so before going to explore more, I'm just going to put on some light makeup. Do you like my Chinese hair accessory? I love it. I'm excited to check out this place. Because <laughs> the last time I came here was like... The last time you came here was 15 years ago. At least 15 years. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I also brought up 10 years. So at least 15 years, years ago. I'm excited as well. Can wait. I can't believe we have Marks and Spencer here. They have the same things as they have in London. Of course, the prices are expensive, as you can see. Marlebon and it was they have this similar station. Now it's gonna start getting more beautiful because it's turning dark. So you can tell this is a night view, right? Yeah. We are in Paris again. <laughs> okay. Now from here we're gonna go in front of the Eiffel Tower. We are so amazed by this park because it's literally the same park regions it's literally regions park same right let's go okay guys i'm going to like show you we took some of the wedding pictures in regions park and we have one picture at the door it is very very similar oh my god i'm going to add the picture here so you can compare Same door. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is a nice picture. Wait, in front of the uh, Eiffel Tower, there's a park as well. Uh, the, the, I forgot the name, but now I'm doubting. From the outside, it looked like Regents, but from the inside, it looked like Paris. Now I'm not sure which park they wanted to recreate. <laughs> anyway, they did a great job. It's so beautiful. And it's gonna get even better. Look.
we divided our tour into two areas. This area that you are seeing is the newest one, where the most famous hotels are. In the next video, I will show you the other area that is very different and is worth seeing. I recommend at least two days to see the essentials of both parts. They're not real? They are real. Oh, where are they? So what can you find inside these hotels? Not everything are casinos. There are also many things to see and do. If you like luxury and shopping, this is your place. What I like the most are the details, the decoration and recreations. And Christmas is a good time to come if you like the Christmas atmosphere. <laughs> but it's so nice, looks so nice. We are not fan of the casinos, but we do like to watch how people gambling. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really fun. We saw people win and lose a lot of money, but they don't let you record. Now we're going to go eat something. The good food is in the area where we will go tomorrow. So we just ordered a hamburger, which by the way was delicious. The taxi here is black and white. Yes, they have like real but not metal, right? Mm -hmm. Nine hours. That was a nice stop. Okay, come. So we are in front of the Wim Palace. Mm -hmm. Which one would you prefer, Vegas or, or Macau? I think they are similar, but at the same time, so different. So far, what I've seen is like, the buildings are bigger here. Uh, I think, I feel like I like them more. It's still, well, maybe it's because of the season or because in today it's a Thursday, it's not the weekend. There is less people, so it's good to explore. But I feel like in Vegas it's more like thinking happening in Vegas. Crazy things going on. Vegas, you know. So if you're looking for a cheap and entertaining experience aside from gambling, then Vegas should be your choice. But if you like luxury and serious gambling, Macau is better for this. Just like the Bellagio in Las Vegas, the Wind Palace in Macau has its own performance lake with a spectacular water and light effects show. We're going to have a look inside. A lot of luxury cars. In the casinos, they give you free drinks and snacks, usually with a lot of sugar to keep you awake. <laughs> we couldn't finish this tea because it was so sweet. The stablest job in Macau. Casino. Working as a dealer in a casino. <laughs> and we are back in our hotel. I'm gonna check out the gym because the swimming pool is closed. Ah, first day in Macau. We are so. We're so tired. So, so tired. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. much more to show you. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!